Hey everybody, this is Bruce with Zabowski Studio and today we're going to be painting this uh, little uh, urban construction type area here. And uh, it's a nice sunny Sunday morning and I want to thank you for joining me and if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe to my channel for more cool videos and let's get started. Going to get started with this selection of brushes right here. Hey everybody, Bruce again for another plein air adventure, this time working with an urban subject at uh, a local construction site right downtown. Their uh, local college is uh, putting in a big old dorm and retail spaces, so it's going to be a little, little bit interesting for a while, but good opportunities for me to do some uh, compositions like this because it's always shifting every day at this construction site, that's for sure. So what I'm doing, going to do in the background there is just suggest some, some dark shapes to balance out the design of what's going on in the foreground. Even though there is, of course, material back there like pipes and all that sort of thing. I'm kind of making up some suggestive shapes to set off certain parts of the main actors of the scene here and uh, work it out for the composition. And strengthening some of the umber, building some shadows. And a of course, working with the umber is something I always like to do because it's, it seems to always uh, work well on any type of panel color. What I have going on here is a white toned panel. And then I took some thinned out gray paint and loosely brushed all over to create that sort of effect. It's kind of nice. And maybe parts of that show through the final piece. Don't know yet. Just adds to uh, the effect, especially in this type of subject matter with everything's kind of gritty and uh, bits of detail. Could be suggested with just that. And the shadows on these uh, objects, of course the light was changing very quickly and I was trying to capture all kinds of things at one time. I will refer to my reference photo to check the accuracy of the angles and stuff. And I, there I am, putting in another dark shape of some uh, construction debris in the background to give a sense of depth also but needs bits of darks here and there to balance out everything else and in the shadows I'm really trying to stay more blue because I'm going to have the orange colored cones reddish orange cones in the barrel type uh, barricade thing so that's going to be a nice contrast Now a little time lapse just to kind of get through some parts of blocking in, which you've seen me do in other paintings in slow, uh, well, in real time, I should say. So didn't think you wanted me to bore you with uh, filling in every little bit, but let me know if you do want to see that. So here I am putting in some tones for the uh, ground. Of course, some parts of the ground are kind of more blue. I wanted to suggest more of a, because they did tear up, uh, of course, a lot of the pavement that was there. It was a big parking lot before. And now you have all this dirt, debris. So I'm trying to randomly put in these bits of color and, and trying to use brush strokes to suggest the uh, effects of the detritus of a construction site. See, putting the strokes here and there, kind of thinking like an impressionist in, in a way. Then when I bring other colors in between those strokes, it'll softly melt together. Some of them will be the same value, so they'll appear as, as, as one value, but they'll be different colors, so that'll be a nice effect. So already it's starting to have some nice punch. It really helps to try to knock in something with the uh, burnt umber. See how I'm dancing around with the brush to suggest just bits and pieces of gravel. And when this dries, I'll of course go in with uh, very uh, strategically placed bits of highlights and pebbles and that sort of thing. Just kind of working around that shadow shape. A lot of times I don't finish just one element. I'm always dancing around depending 
Sometimes it might be depending what I, I think the light's going to do. Other times it's if I think the subject's going to move quickly and I want to capture it before it does. Uh, maybe it's a car or, you know, that type of thing. Just trying to develop different ways of approaching how, how I, t I tackle a subject. Here I'm trying to sh suggest a little bit of pavement still left over before it turns to dirt as I cut a little stronger edge. So I kind of like that effect a lot. Gives some interest to the foreground. Now I'm going to be painting the shadows on the, on the stripes on the barrel. And in hindsight, what I might do now that I'm watching it playback is I might push those more towards a little cooler purpley blue to really play off of that orange. We'll see how it goes in the, when I finish it up in the studio. Really don't want that shadow too dark obviously because I want it to be luminous. Now on that barrel, of course it's just a straight cylinder right now because I was just not I was just drawing in everything very quickly before the light changed. The actual barrel is like a a cake in a way. The the bottom section is wider than the middle section, which is wider than the top section. Just by a little bit. But I'll correct that later on in the studio. I wasn't too concerned with it in this particular uh, situation because of uh, I, that would just been noodling too much too soon and I would have uh, lost effects in other parts of the painting so you can, I can always repair that. Putting the shadows in on the cones now and you'll you saw in the intro there that there were cones next to that concrete barrier in the middle ground there and I took those out obviously for design effect because you want the eye to go back to the back and plus it just would have cluttered up composition too much. <clears throat> now I'm just cleaning up some edges of that flange at the bottom of the barrel. It was a little off so I'm trying to correct that. So it uh, totally clouded in on me here, and uh, that's why I nailed my sunlit areas. I'm still going to, I remember some of that, so I'm going to put in uh, some uh, light information for the highlights on the sides here, and uh, pick out some details in the elements that I can work on without the sun shining, like uh, little details in the uh, concrete barrier and that sort of thing, and then I'll have to finish it up at home. So. Little more time lapse here. Just putting in the highlights on the cones in the barrel. Get those knocked in before I leave. A little real time detail of how I'm applying the paint. You see how that really is a nice complement to the shadows. It's really going to be a nice painting when I uh, finish it up in the studio. Now what you want to pay attention to also is, and you'll see it in parts uh, later on, is you want to make sure the curvature of the stripes follows the curvature of the top and bottom depending on perspective to show that it's sitting on the correct plane and doesn't look skewed because that would be very, uh, very distracting. more time lapse of uh, just touching in some details before I wrap it up. Really pleased with this piece. I want to do several more too. Check it out different times of day. So now we'll end this video. Okay everybody this is it for this uh, this painting. Uh, clouded over very quickly within the first 10 minutes of painting. So it's a good thing I took a reference photo because material like this will be moving around daily on a construction site. 
So I'll finish it up from uh, from the reference photo. I like it. I think I got a good start. I remember the highlights. That's why I blocked it in real quick with burnt umber to know where they were. And I adjusted a few shadows. I'll have to look at the reference photo to check for accuracy there. But I want to thank you for joining me for another adventure. And it always is. So if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe. And for everyone else, thanks for checking out my videos. Bye. The palette I used was uh, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Titanium White, Ultramarine Blue, a little bit of Cad Yellow Pale, Cad Yellow, a little bit of Alizarin Crimson, Cad Red, my little bit of my Liquid Impasto Gel, and so I mixed uh, the oranges from uh, the red and yellow.